think the, one of the things which has come out of this dialogue, because there are many things, so you, you can't really condense it to one issue. One thing that has come out of it is, is the pluralization of notions of nature. And the big question of how that pluralization of notions of nature can be turned into a manageable or debatable issue. And uh, in fact, I said in my conclusion to the conference that we started this, this discussion this afternoon uh, on the basis of you know, what, what are values of nature today. And instead of answering that question, the discussion was taken to what's the kind of space within which today we can have a good discussion about the value of nature. So, so some took it to the individual yeah, so it's about empowerment of individuals. Well, some would take it to home, notions of home, it's because in, in situations of home, people feel involved with their environment. Well, others were saying you know, it's, it's about processes, and it's about processes also which go beyond nation states, which go beyond classical ways of organizing policy making. So I think in the end, you know, this this the first idea, quite innocent question about the value of nature has taken us to something which is much more dynamic, much bigger, much more, say, uh, 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 about the way in which we organize societies. So we can't dissociate the question of the organization of nature from the way we organize societies. So now we're going to take this back to the thinking and working tables of PBL and I think we have a big job trying to translate this into what we do with our knowledge of nature. But we'll get out of it and we'll come to effective conclusions, I think. In this debate, I think, I think what is specific for uh, PBL uh, is, of course, the role of knowledge. We are there to produce knowledge which is useful and effective for policymaking in terms of monitoring, in terms of building scenarios for the future, et cetera, et cetera. So now the big question which we take out of this dialogue will be, what does this imply for our role of producing knowledge for policymaking? Uh, can we still do it in the old ways in which we try to sort of develop indicators for policymaker, then policy making and then measure the situation and then come to a conclusion about we reach the goal, yes or no? Or should we also try to produce, well, this, this will remain important, so there's no question about sort of monitoring and all that, but at the same time, you know, this, this idea of tinkering, this idea of you know, we have to have negotiations between different repertoires, between different perspectives, the question then becomes what type of knowledge could facilitate that tinkering? What type of knowledge uh, do we have to develop to help people to negotiate the networks and to bring them to conclusions? So I think that will be an interesting question to reflect upon uh, coming out of this dialogue today.